Hi there, students. A paper trail. OK, a paper trail is the evidence of somebody's activities, the evidence of what they've done. Um, and this you can prove what they have done. So criminals are very, very uh, unhappy about leaving a paper trail. Yeah, they try not to leave a paper trail because if they don't leave a paper trail, it's very difficult for the police to prove that they've done something wrong. So the paper trail, these are financial records, yeah, uh, from which you can work out what people have done or application forms or licenses or anything that is printed or anything that is on computer. So um, very often when the police arrest somebody, they take their computer and they have a look at the paper trail within this person's computer and they look at the, their email and they try to follow the paper trail, yeah? Um, and the paper trail, it's documents and evidence uh, that show the sequence of events. It shows the activities of a person or an organization. Um, if you do business with someone, it's important to have a paper trail so that you can, uh, so that if there is a dispute, you can prove what you're saying. Um, companies are required to keep a paper trail like that the the company can be audited yeah it it can be followed um okay so um, um illegal activities if you're if you're uh, carrying out legal activities then try not to leave any paper trail at all yeah um if you're uh, if you work for a company you want to claim expenses then you're going to need a paper trail yeah, you're need, going to be able need to be able to prove what you've said. Yeah, because um, uh, like that you can you can fo follow it. Um, one of the um, problems with modern voting machines, electronic systems, is there's no paper trail um, which can then be followed. Yeah, so you follow the paper trail, you create a paper trail, you leave a paper trail. Yeah, it's a, a series of evidence, written records, written evidence of somebody's activities. It doesn't have to be written nowadays, it can be electronic as well. Yeah, it, it could be correspondence, it could be a diary, it could be uh, financial records, it could be uh, anything that's written, written or printed or recorded uh, on an electronic medium. Yeah, and a paper trail is particularly used to show that somebody is guilty of something, to show who is guilty of what. Um, yeah, and uh, then you just follow the paper trail and like that you know exactly what has happened. So, paper trail, formality. Mm, I think I'm going to give it a 5 in formality. I think you could use it anywhere. Maybe 4.5, use a paper trail in something very formal. I think you could probably use it in something very formal as well. So, um, uh, use it absolutely anywhere. And the trail is, I, I'm thinking of Hansel and Gretel and this trail of breadcrumbs, this line of breadcrumbs that they leave to uh, be followed so that they can be fa they can find their way back but the birds eat them um, but nowadays a paper trail is physical evidence of what happened in the past or records left by a person or an organization in their activities yeah um, or a written record, like a history of what you've done. And like that, you can show exactly what you've been doing or why you arrived at a specific conclusion. The paper trail is like your written justification of what you are saying. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, 
give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Paper Trail.